Today, we're exploring how bacteria in the guts of honeybees could be playing a major role in helping them process nectar into honey. Yep, apparently it is not just the bees doing the work, but their gut bacteria as well. Let me show you some experiments honeybee researchers have done, and I want you to tell me if that makes sense to you. When bees collect nectar and pollen, they are also carrying with them a wide range of bacteria in their guts. These bacteria play a crucial role in helping bees process the food they collect, and one of the most important enzymes involved in breaking down carbohydrates is amylase. Traditionally, scientists believed that amylase was produced solely by the bees, but recent research published in the European Journal of Entomology suggests that bacillus bacteria in the bee's gut might be helping boost the level of amylase, making it easier for the bees to break sugars from nectar, which is an important step in honey-making process. To find out if these bacteria are playing a role in amylase production, scientists conducted a series of experiments. First, they measured the levels of amylase in nectar collected from rape flowers, and then they compared those levels to the amylase found in nectar collected by bees is stored in the honey gut of the honeybees. This way, using simple math, subtracting the amount of amylase found in nectar inside the bees' gut from the amount of amylase found in pure nectar from flowers, researchers can determine how much amylase come from flowers and how much amylase come from the bees' gut separately. And the results were pretty clear. There was a significant increase in amylase levels in nectar from honey guts compared to the nectar collected directly from flowers. Researchers know that honeybees produce amylase naturally in their salivary glands, and this could be an explanation for the increased amount of amylase found. Therefore, to know for sure if bacteria from the environment found also in the gut of honeybees could be helping them, the researchers must continue the investigation. But how the researchers will know if the bacillus is the bacteria involved in the process? Next, the researchers want to see if adding bacillus bacteria directly to nectar will also increase the amylase levels. To do that, the researchers isolate two main species of bacillus, Bacillus subtilis and Bacillus amyloliquefaciens from the bee's honey gut and added them to nectar samples. They compared the amylase levels of nectar without bacteria to nectar that had Bacillus added to it, and the results were very interesting. The amylase levels of the nectar with bacteria increased significantly, up to 2.5 times higher in some cases. These two experiments show that Bacillus bacteria found in bees gut could indeed have a direct role in increasing amylase levels, helping bees process nectar more efficiently into honey. But is that conclusive? As a honeybee scientist myself, I have to be picky here. Let me explain. The presence of Bacillus bacteria in the gut and the increase of amylase levels were correlated, no doubt about that. But correlation alone doesn't prove that the bacteria are actually producing the amylase within the bee's gut under natural conditions. Correlation, it's not causation. Although the researchers showed that Bacillus bacteria can produce amylase when added to nectar in vitro outside the bees, they did not directly measure bacterial amylase production inside the bee's gut, an in vivo experiment. This means the amylase increase observed in the gut could still be influenced by enzymes secreted by the bees themselves. So what are the odds for these bacteria are there in the gut not producing amylase? My personal opinion is that the chances are very low. But as a scientist, I need to follow the scientific method correctly and be open-minded to this possibility as well. So where this lead us? While this study provides strong evidence for bacterial involvement in amylase production, additional experience would be needed to definitely confirm that the bacillus bacteria are producing the amylase within the bee's gut, in vivo, inside the bees. As you could see in many of the research studies I show in this channel, no single scientific article ever gives you the full picture. Science is an ongoing process, and only time and more research can direct us to robust conclusions in our quest for truth. I'll be covering more research about gut bacteria and honeybee health in future videos. Until then, 
Please sign up to my email list to receive the latest update regarding Honeybee Research. And of course, a big thank you to our sponsor, Strong Microbials. Please support the sponsors of the channel. Without them, I could not bring these interesting experiments to your attention. Strong Microbials has a line of probiotics for honeybees that you can try yourself to see if they work for the conditions your bees are in. The link is in the description of this video. And don't forget to let me know the results you get. Please watch this exclusive video to learn more about some of the experiments used in this study. Or click here to watch another video and continue your journey into the world of honeybee research. Thanks for watching. Inside the hive.tv, the show about bees. See you guys in the next video.